We have escaped the Delaware winter, drove 12 hours, and it is the first morning in the sunny palm tree state. It's time to see what Northern Florida fishing is all about. If you're a fish in Florida, sheesh. Easy. I don't think y'all know just how excited I am. This is so freaking cool, man. We're starting all this morning here in the good old palm tree state. As y'all can see right back here, we are dropping the kayak. It's kind of like a warm-ish, breezy day. It's like, this is like 60-ish. Like it's gonna get, I think, uh, up to maybe close to 70. And you can see it's a little gloomy-ish. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but uh, on this trip, we're gonna be kind of around North Florida, kind of like Georgia. Florida-ish area. I've never fished here before, ever. It's kind of like near Jacksonville, if you know where that is. Y'all know I love my saltwater fishing, man. I've been itching to get out and do some fishing. So we got everything kind of set up over there. And uh, let me show you what we're gonna be using here today. This is uh, pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever used this on the channel before, ever. Oh, there goes the bucket. All right, feast your eyes on this right there. These, let me see if I can get one out. They won't pinch me, right? That right there, is a fiddler crab. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, you guys have seen these dudes before? I have never fished with them and apparently it's one of the best baits to use out here. So we got a whole like squad in there of those. We got two rods, uh, we've got a cooler as well. I've been doing a little catch cook action chef first day when I come out. Um, got some gear and uh, yeah, everything's pretty much loaded up. We're gonna drop here. I don't really know uh, if this is gonna be good. Y'all know uh, as much about this area as I do. You might even know more than me. I literally just came to Florida, went on Google Maps, found a spot and uh, we got some fiddler crabs, we got some gear, we got a dream. I think this is gonna be really cool. Let's get out there. I don't always need time. Let's get to the water and uh, hopefully we don't blow away. Probably gifted, take the plot and I twist it, got a big lit. Touch with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop from a land. This is how the pros do it. Okay. Woo! We're doing it, man. Freaking Florida. Turn this dude around. Alright, so we're gonna be going out of here to the right. Which looks pretty nice. It's kind of chocolate milky. Ooh, it's really not that cold though. I mean, it's cold. I don't know. Today is like supposed to be windy-ish, but not super, super windy. So I kind of just wanted to come out here and do something I've never done before on the kayak. Maybe do a little catching and cooking. I really don't know if this is going to work at all or not. But uh, the next couple days, I mean, there's a bunch of places to fish around here and for a bunch of different stuff that I honestly like never get to target. So we're going to be doing that. Some jetty fishing, hopefully some beach fishing. Hopefully some uh, freshwater fishing as well. All right, so let me show you what we are gonna try to attempt to freaking do here. This is something I've never used before. So this right here, I don't know if y'all can see that. This is a jig, like a bottom jig. And uh, I bought this up north. It was actually kind of like targeted, like it was promoted for tog. And another fish we're gonna be trying to target today, sheep's head, are similar in a couple of different ways. They like these kind of bridge pilings. They like uh, oyster beds, structure and they like crustaceans. So let me show you this right here. Ow, ow, ow. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna grab one of these. I don't know how many you're supposed to put on a jig head like this. Oh, I don't wanna get in this channel here. Just professional fishermen. I just got bit. Come on, eat it. You won't. Eat it. I don't know if this jig is too big. There's a fish. There's a freaking fish, dude. Get up here. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh my God. What is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh 
Please tell me I'm recording. <sighs> oh God, that's freaking strong, dude. What is that? Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, big freaking, was that a sheep? Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, no. What is that? Dude, that's a black drum. <sighs> oh my God. I don't think I have my uh, fish grippers. Oh my God, you can hear them drumming. Dude, that is so freaking sick. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Right in the side of the mouth. Dude, this is one of my favorite things about saltwater fishing. I don't even know if y'all can see just how freaking cool and how big that fish is. Look at him looking at us. Oh, that freaking fought, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna let that guy go. I don't know if you can uh, eat or keep these. We're gonna let that dad go. Right there, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> All right, we need to bait up. We're gonna go back at that spot we just thought. Um, yeah, this guy's kind of pulled up on me a little bit. That is so freaking cool though. Dude, I thought that was a sheep's head. Oh my gosh, that is literally why I came down to freaking Florida, dude. Stuff like that. So uh, that was actually the little cluster. We had a male and a female dude on here. Let's rig back up real quick. Now, uh, if you guys have been around for my channel, uh, I can't even freaking talk to you. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, we caught some big black drum, like actually in Delaware, I think you can catch the biggest black drum in the United States, if not, I mean, probably around here and other places, but they actually come to spawn up in the Delaware Bay. And a long time ago, like years ago, we filmed a video on a charter boat and we caught, oh geez, I just ripped that thing through that dude. But the black drum I caught was freaking huge. And I saw one that I think, ow, freaking just stabbed my finger. Just professional fisherman. I saw one that might've been like a hundred pounds ish. I don't remember how big mine was, but it was huge. Like, I don't know if you consider that one I just caught still like a puppy drum, but that is so freaking cool, dude. All right, let's get this dude on. Let's get back over there. That's so freaking sick, dude. If you guys could, go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know, can I eat those? What I want to eat those. The bigger ones in Delaware have worms in them. I mean, a lot of saltwater fish have worms in them, but uh, holy crap. See, there's any sheep's head around here, any other fish. I mean, it's freaking saltwater, Florida. You never freaking know, man. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh, dude, that's a freaking redfish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking sick. All right, let's try to land this dude. I didn't realize, I think I do have my fish grippers in the boat, but I kind of just want to boat flip this guy. He looks kind of, oh jeez, chill, 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 chill. Oh my gosh, I found the right little post. Oh my freaking God, let's go, dude. Okay, oh gosh. Tangled mess, tangled mess. Let's go, dude. Okay, come here. Oh my gosh, so we got a red drum and then we had a black drum. Oh gosh. Literally right on the pilings too. All right, let me show y'all. I forgot, dude, All right, dang it. I wish I could've held the other one up. These grippers, all right, get that out of the way so we don't get hooked again. Dude, first, freaking date out here 
ah, this is what's happening. Already so freaking sick, man. If you guys are watching uh, the channel when we've done the RVing stuff, I've had a blast catching these redfish. I want to go up into the uh, shallower, like marshes around here. Hopefully, take the kayak, and uh, they should be maybe tailing. Where it's, where it's like super shallow water, you can see their tails out, and they school up and stuff. I don't really know much about these fish. Let's see how many spots he has. Apparently, every redfish has different, unique little spots. He's one on that side, one on that side. Beautiful freaking fish, man. I mean, that I'm sure probably most likely would be a keeper, but we're gonna let him go. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, man. <laughs> so freaking cool. I'm just gonna see what's around here. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. They get confused a little bit right when you let them go. All right. <laughs> Holy freaking cow. All right. So, two fish down. Let's see what else is around here. I mean, literally. In these waters, especially under these bridges, and especially with bait like this, oh, he frayed me the freak up. We gotta retie that. But there could be so many different things. That is so bad. By the way, I am using very light stuff too. Um, I'll show you the rod here in a second, but this is 30 pound braid, and then I think we have 30 pound, uh, I think it's fluorocarbon on. So that's what we're gonna do, another uni, uni knot, tie that back onto this, get back over to our spot. Stuff like this makes me just want to move to freaking Florida, dude. I mean, it's beautiful weather too. Like this is so ideal. It's like 60s, mid 60s, a little bit windy now. I mean, it's still pretty windy actually. Pretty big gusts, but it's just freaking beautiful, man. Nice overcasty day. All right, who's the next up in line here? I think probably my favorite part about this whole thing is that this is like unguided. And I think that's some of the most freaking rewarding fishing you could really do. Like I know we could come out here and crush it with a guide, but I don't know, it's just so freaking cool. I'm having so much fun if you guys can't tell. Gonna get this wrapped. <laughs> no, not the crabs. <laughs> what the heck is going on, dude? Right after I said, yeah, that was where we're gonna catch all the fish. All right, let's just reel this in here. Oh, gosh, jeez. What the heck is that? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this wind is no joke. Oh, the other person just left. The, the boat just left, too. I guess we're like the only people out here now. That's kind of cool. I can actually talk, too. All right. Let's cast this kind of in here. The water, I think, is moving a lot more than I would want it to right now. We're going to see what the heck we can do. I really do want to catch a sheep's head. That's kind of like, that was like my personal goal here for the day. I've already broken every expectation in my book. Last thing would be a nice little sheepy. Yeah, I think I need to put a heavier dude on, which I have a heavier dude. I, I need to show you guys the package real quick, actually. So this is uh, what I'm using. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is a one ounce. I think I'm using a three quarter ounce or half ounce or something, but these are, they're called Tog Treats. And there's so many different brands that make them. It's just a bottom jig, basically. It's made for like stuff like this, like crabs shellfish bait it's just so you don't have to run those not like complicated rigs but just a little bit more complex and there's a lot more moving parts and like dropper loops and stuff like that and you need to get the leads and all that it's just kind of like an all-in-one easier time which is what it's seeming like so far at least now i did see those guys in the boat pull up some smaller sheep's head like real tiny and i don't really know how big sheep's head actually get here this might be too big of a freaking jig and presentation and everything together that's it might be why we're catching some freaking big old fish next time we do this i'm gonna have to bring a rope with me for sure that's how that boat right there um there's like a little rope that they tied their rope onto and they're just kind of chilling this would be very annoying right now oh did i just get bit dude hello oi 
All right, figure check out this bridge real quick. This might, yeah, this might be a little too windy out here. There we go. Along the rocks right there? Wait, what is that? What the heck is that? Hello? That might actually be a good strat. I mean, this is like a pretty decent sized jig too. Um, if you guys have any idea, I don't really want to touch it. Oh, jeez, help. Hello? There we go. There's a shot. Um, he's got some teeth. It looks kind of like a wrasse. Uh, he's got very sharp teeth, actually. All right, there he goes. I don't know what that was. I've learned from the past not to touch stuff that I don't know what it is, like fish-wise. One time when I was on an island, I don't even know where the heck we were. Uh, I Yeah, it was a scorpion fish. Or no, not a scorpion. It's a squirrel fish. And it freaking stung the heck out of me. It felt like I got stabbed. So nowadays I tend to tread lightly with touching. Super cool though. All right. Basically all I did is just go over here. It's kind of deepish right off this uh, little ledge of rocks. And I'm just letting the current and the wind push me back. Do a little drifty drift. Let's see if any other dudes over here. This is where I can see some sheep's head being as well. We at the bottom? All right. So this is like something I kind of want to explore while we're here as well. See this little channel back there. I'm going to cast right out in front of this. See if anything's hanging around. But I really want to start going back. I found some other spots on Google Maps. Uh, I probably have to drop in. I don't even know where. I found some really cool little things like that that I'm sure we could catch. Hopefully something pretty freaking cool. Oh, I see a little bait jumping over there. This is getting a little chilly out here too. This wind is no joke. Everybody left. Maybe there's a reason everybody left. I don't know if, like I know the tide affects fishing, especially yeah, obviously saltwater fishing, but I don't know how this tide affects this spot because it's really hard to tell with the wind and everything else. So I'm gonna kick around over here, do a little bit more exploring. Over that way, I don't know if y'all can really see, but there's some houses. They're like right on this little river, water passageway thing. Oh, that'd be so cool to have. Maybe one day, right? I gotta find this boat ramp again, too. <laughs> Swear, dude. That would be so free. We got to get like a pirate. Dude, imagine like a bluegill skull and crossbones flag proudly flying behind here. Ahoy! <laughs> Land ho, matey. Let's try to whip this in here. Oh, scare! 